Does anyone else think my hair is getting too long? Oh, if you ever find yourself lost in the middle of the sea. Hello girls, happy Labor Day and happy Monday. Yeah, right now I'm growing my hair out for the wedding and I feel like it's just too long, but David seems to like it. Whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that's the end of that conversation. But um, I had a pretty good day today. We relaxed. David had work off. I had work off, which has been rare now that he started his new job for us to actually have the day off together. So we took care of a lot of errands. We bought a grill. Um, we bought a couple ceiling fans for the house that we're wanting to install and, you know, fixed some stuff up and sent some letters out. So it's just been a day full of laboring, <laughs> but not at work on our own. So it's been nice. Anyways, I want to get to this week's topic, which was chosen by our guest Friday, who I'm not going to reveal just yet, but it is a familiar face that a lot of our viewers who have been with us for several years will know. And uh, she has chosen for us to talk about fat versus health. She says, are you fat but healthy? Do you feel your weight is affecting your health? Have you tried a lifestyle change? What has worked for you? What hasn't? And do you have any thoughts on gastric gastric bypass. So first, do I feel like I'm fat but healthy? No. I feel like I'm fat but not healthy in the way that I should be. And I think that that has sparked a change, especially over the past month and a half. You know, I used to run all the time and I felt like at that time I was, I was really, you know, getting to a point where I was healthy. And you know, I don't think I'm ever going to be a small a small girl by any means, you know, I've got big hips and um, I, I don't think I'm ever going to be skinny and that's not my, my aim in life is to be skinny, but definitely to be healthy. Getting married, I want to be around for a long time and so I have gotten back into the routine of running at least, you know, three or four times a week and I, at first it really sucked getting back into it because it was like I was not doing well at all, <laughs> but now I'm finally sort of getting back into the groove of it so it's real nice. Do I feel like my weight is affecting my health? Um, no, not at this moment in my life. I think if I had continued on the track that I was on when I was in college, my weight would definitely be affecting my health. But I think because I have taken the steps to get healthier at this moment in my life, my weight is not affecting it. Um, obviously, yes, I've tried a lifestyle change. I'm currently on it. What has worked for me, what hasn't. Low carb has worked for me. Uh, counting calories has not. Um, as soon as I started counting carbs and watching the breads and the pastas and really just paying attention to vegetables and proteins, that is what worked for me. And definitely having a regular exercise routine has worked for me as well. And what are my thoughts on gastric bypass? I don't think it's a good idea because most of the people that I've known who've had it, it it's worked for them, but they just, you know, went back to what they were before, you know, not completely to the heaviest state that they were on, but I feel like a lot of people may use gastric bypass as a, as a cheat sheet, and I think you really need to understand a healthy lifestyle before gastric bypass will really be successful for you. I myself would not do it, but I think people who want to do it should definitely be educated and aware and, you know, really be on the right track and understanding it and not just do it because they think it's going to be a quick fix. So that's the answers to my questions this week. I know pretty heavy topic that was not intentional. Um, so welcome to our guest Friday. I hope everyone enjoys seeing this person come back for a while and I'll pass it off to Amy. Bye.